you tend to leave your green side bunker shots in the bunker, or even worse, fly them over the green, you may want to pay close attention to today's lesson tip, coming up next on Winning Golf. He's got a chance, could it be? It's in the cup! Wow! Winning golf, that's what we play. It's in the hole! Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again, that's where the action all begins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today Winning Golf comes to you from the spectacular Whitford Country Club. And joining me as our host today from Belfort Property Restoration is my dear friend Daryl Tuno. And Daryl, first of all, welcome back to Winning Golf and Daryl, boy, today we have terrific weather. An amazing venue here at Whitford Country Club, a very talented group of players. Yeah. <laughs> and a bunch of awesome prizes to give away. Daryl, to me, that's a recipe for some winning golf. Well, Doug, we are uh, really excited to be a season-long sponsor this year, so Belfort thanks you and your team. And with this weather, everybody's a winner. Well, thank you, Daryl. Well, guys, I have a simple question for you. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Awesome, I love your enthusiasm. Now, our first contest, we have Joe Mullen, Gary DeSanto, and Mike Carley in the contest. And fellas, here's the game. All three of you will putt from 10 feet, at the same time. Now some of the golf balls could collide into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is whoever rolls it in first will win the prize, and guys, what a prize. How about a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel? Sound awesome, fellas? Great, let's get ready to putt. Okay, our three contestants are ready to putt from 10 feet. First one in wins the Desmond prize. Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three, putt, and here they go. Look at this putt. One got to the, oh, just over the edge. This one's right at it. Oh, Gary DeSanto drains it right in the heart of the cup. Awesome. Well, Gary DeSanto, congratulations. Your putter was on fire today, and now you'll get to enjoy a delicious meal or two at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Thanks, Doug. One of the best days of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you, Gary. Well, as you can see, this Belfour property restoration team knows how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the gems of Chester County, the stunning Whitford Country Club. Whitford Country Club, a private club located in the heart of Chester County, opened its doors in 1957. This beautiful facility has traditionally offered its members and guests first-class amenities. But with recent renovations and additions to the golf course, racket facilities, swim club, and clubhouse, Whitford Country Club is now recognized as one of the top country clubs in the entire region. The 18-hole championship golf course, which measures just under 6,800 yards from the tips, features bent and rye grasses from tee to green and superb conditions year-round. Over the past few years, Whitford has completely renovated its pool and racket facilities, as well as its state-of-the-art multi-bay maintenance building. The Olympic-sized swimming pool, the four well-lit paddle courts and eight pickle courts, as well as the eight tennis courts, of which six are hard true, now provide the perfect setting for individual team and family enjoyment. I think it's the continual improvements that we've made around the facility. Um, we continue to address all the issues. Nothing ever gets stale here. Um, so whether it's the golf course, whether it's the swimming pool, uh, or the rackets facilities, which we've put eight new pickleball courts up there. Uh, we still have our four paddle courts, which are you know, extremely well attended. Um, I think it's just the attention to detail and making sure we modernize the club um, while staying you know, traditional with our foundation. And my goodness, what amazing changes to the clubhouse. Recent additions include a large expansive patio, a renovated pro shop, as well as new bag storage and cart facilities. The extremely popular outdoor patio comes with breathtaking views of the golf course and offers members and guests the perfect ambiance around a delicious meal. Of course, the diamond in the rough is the pristine 18 hole championship golf course. This challenging layout designed by well-known architect William Gordon, has a course rating of 72.8 and a slope of 133. Although very challenging from the back tees, each hole presently offers four sets of tees. But by the fall of 2021, a new forward tee will be added, making the course friendly and playable for players of all skill levels. 
Yeah, so we had um, quite a few changes at the end of 2020. We removed about 50 trees on site, on property, all done internally with Chris and his team. Uh, and then we're excited to take on our new irrigation project uh, starting in July. Uh, so over a four month span, we'll be putting in a brand new state of the art three row irrigation system. And if you're new to the game or desire to lower your handicap, Whitford offers a highly trained professional staff as well as a terrific practice facility. We have a great double sided driving range that gives us over 40 stalls of grass to hit off of for our members. And uh, we have three practice greens, uh, all that you can chip to. Two of them have bunkers at them, so we're really looking uh, to improve those areas. We have a master plan that's going to add another 100 yard uh, short game area on the back side of the property. So. We found that members really enjoy the, coming over here and practicing with their family and, and that's what it's all about, so spending time with the club with your family. Our junior program is what really keeps, stands us uh, apart from other clubs. Um, we run something that starts April 1st and it doesn't end until the end of November. The clubhouse features spacious men's and women's locker rooms, an elegant member dining room overlooking the golf course, as well as a beautiful banquet facility ideal for any special event. Whether it's a wedding, ba or bar mitzvah, corporate meeting, golf outing, or any other celebration, one thing is for sure, your experience at Woodford Country Club is guaranteed to be a memorable one. Please call 610-269-2150 or visit the web at whitfordcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Paul Zwally, Bill Penny, Mike Mullen, Matt Wiest, Chris Nunciato, Ed Donaghy, Steve Side, Bill Christine, Joe Mullen, Andrew Addy, Bill Dalton, Mike Carley, Gary DeSanto, Todd Cottingham, our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Gentlemen, today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm gonna discuss a very common mistake made in the greenside bunker. Part two, Todd Cottingham is gonna put my bunker tip in action. And part three is the FootJoy contest where all of you will get to hit a bunker shot. And at the same time, compete for an unbelievable prize. Fellas, ready for this? Yeah. 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 I didn't tell you what it was yet. That's all right. How about a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? All right. yeah. What a prize. What a prize. Fellas, after giving many, many greenside bunker lessons, certain mistakes show up on a regular basis. One of those mistakes is players get very steep with their club head and dig into the sand. Two bad things happen when you dig into the sand. Number one, your ball usually stays in the bunker. And number two, if you hit the ball first, it flies over the green. Both of those are bad situations, correct? Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to find a way to flatten our angle of attack. We want a club head that's sliding through the sand rather than digging. And the good news is this, changing your setup sometimes makes that happen. So today I'm going to discuss three keys in your setup that will help your club slide through the sand. Sound good? Yes, sir. All right. So number one, I'm going to ask you to widen your stance. My stance in the bunker is as wide as I am when I'm hitting my driver, maybe even a little wider. Number two, I'm going to ask you to flex your knees more. You're going to feel like you're sitting down a little bit more than normal. And lastly, I'm going to ask you to take your hands, which are normally here, and if you drop your hands down a little bit, that increases the use of your bounce. The bounce allows the club head to slide through the sand. All right. If you do those three things, your club will slide through the sand rather than dig into the sand. Sound good, fellas? Yes. yes. All right. Before we get to the very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Todd Cottingham to come up and yes. put this tip in action. You can do it. Nice applause for Todd. All right, Todd. Let's set up to that golf ball. We want to open the club face first as normal, and we want to play the ball forward in your stance. Sound good? Excellent. Now, let's talk about the three keys. I'm going to ask you to widen your stance. You move your right foot that way. Excellent. I'm going to ask you to flex your knees more and feel like you're sitting down in that bunker a little bit. Excellent. And at the same time, I'm going to bump a little weight forward. And now, lastly, drop those hands down just a little bit. All right, Todd, you look like you already hit a great bunker shot. I'm going to step back with this wonderful team from Belfour Property Restoration. When you're ready, let's pop one up onto the green.
Well, Todd, that was an awesome shot. Well Thanks, done, Todd. and I hope you enjoyed the tip. Absolutely, great tip. Thanks a lot. You're quite welcome. Hey guys, you ready to try to win a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? Yes. Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to Doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our Foot Joy contest is a 25-yard bunker shot with a big left-to-right break. Chris Nunziato is up to the task. And look at this touch by Chris. That is winning golf, Chris. Well done. Todd Cottingham hits a wonderful shot to seven feet from the pin. What a student Todd is. Todd. Oh, my goodness. What an effort by Todd Cottingham. Andrew Addy gets off the beach with this gem to six and a half feet. Andrew Addy with a great touch. This one's got a chance. Winning golf, Andrew. Well done. But check out Ed Donaghy's unbelievable shot. This is rolling from left to right. And that is an unbelievable shot. Ed Donaghy! Oh! Ed Donaghy! My goodness, what a bunker shot. He sinks it to win the shoes. All right, fellas, our Footjoy contest winner is Ed Donaghy. Yeah. Ed, unbelievable setup, unbelievable shot. Zero feet, zero inches. So now you'll be taking him a gorgeous pair of Footjoy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Ed, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add an amazing driver to those new Footjoy shoes? Oh, that'd be great. I can't wait to try. Well, I love your enthusiasm. So I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. Footjoy has been the number one shoe on tour for 75 years. We were innovating then, and we continue to innovate today. And this whole time, we've had one simple goal, to elevate our game so you can elevate yours. We build gear for every player, every swing, every stance, and everywhere you might play. Well, maybe not there. The fact is, we're passionate about progress, and this is the best our game has ever been. So why don't you come play with us? Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision, an SUV built around you, all of you. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM8 Wedges. Know your letter, hit your number. Vokey SM8 Wedges. And by Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. Outerwear provided by Footjoy. Footjoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with Footjoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well guys, in our next thrilling contest, one of you could take home the hottest driver in the golf industry, the Titleist TSI. How's that sound? Yay! What an incredible prize. All right, fellas, here's the deal. Our incredible host, Daryl Tuna, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then have two chances to roll in a putt from only 10 feet, if successful that player will take home the title as TSI driver. So needless to say, this is going to be very exciting. And speaking of exciting, Daryl, who's our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Whitford Country Club? Daryl? Oh, pull it, pull it. Come on, Daryl. Pull it, come on. Come on please, Daryl, please, Daryl. Who is it? Who is it? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Nanciato? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. So you know the game. Two putts from 10 feet, you're all winning. You're the new owner of a Titleist TSI driver. You up for the challenge? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome, let's go make a putt. <laughs> okay, Chris Nanciato has two chances to roll in a 10 foot putt. If successful, Chris will add a Titleist TSI driver to his bag, just like I did this season. Beautiful stroke, it's got a chance. Oh, just over the right lip. Well, Chris has a mulligan. Let's see if he can deliver for a Titleist TSI driver. Here's the putt, it's got a chance. He wins a title as TSI driver. What an amazing putt. Wow. Well, Chris Nanciato, that was a terrific putt under an awful lot of pressure. The camera was rolling, a gallery around you, a title as TSI driver in a line, and you still drained the putt. I'm guessing, Chris, you really enjoyed this contest. 
It was a great day. Thank you, Titleist. Appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Well, thank you to Titleist. We just gave away an awesome prize, and the great news is this. We still have a ton of wonderful prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 75 foot uphill chip from the fairway. Mike Mullen starts things off. Good try, Mike. Well done. Right. Well done. Ed Donaghy chips his ball to under six feet from the cup. 75 feet with a sand wedge, and that is pen high. Well done, Ed Donaghy is on a roll today. Chris Nunciato grabs some attention with this shot to three feet, eight inches. Coming from left to right, and look at that touch by Chris. Winning golf, Chris. Mike Carley rising to the occasion with his effort that's less than three feet away. That's a winning golf right there, Mike Carley. Andrew Addy tops that with this fine chip to just under two feet away. Andrew Addy, look at that touch, Andrew. Wow. But Bill Penny leaves no doubt with this gem to just over a foot away. Pete, look at this touch by Bill. Oh my goodness, that is a great effort. He takes the round. Up next, we test the pitching skills with this 20 yarder from the heavy rough. Joe Mullen has a good short game. Moving from right to left, that's a nice touch by Joe. Well done. Can make that putt, Joe. Todd Cottingham pitches it with style. It's a nice, nice touch. Well done. Gary DeSanto's effort looks good at under six and a half feet. With a gap wedge right below the cup. Well done, Gary. Bill Dalton's ball ends up a foot closer. Look at this touch. Look at this line. That's a great effort by Bill Dalton. Well done, Bill. Good job. Bill Christine looking to win the round with this nice pitch to one foot, 10 inches. It's got a chance, Bill Christine, one-handed, and look at that shot, Bill. But check out Matt Wiest. Beautiful shot to one foot, five inches. He takes the round. This is going from right to left, it's got a chance. Matt Wiest got a chance. Look at that effort, well done, wow. Round three features a 25 foot putt with a severe left to right break. Mike Carley is up to the challenge. 25 feet, look at a touch by Mike. Wow. Gary DeSanto has a smooth stroke. Will it get there? That's the question. Gary DeSanto. Oh, oh man. Ed Donaghy rolling his ball to nine inches. Coming back towards the hole, Ed Donaghy. Oh, my goodness. Mike Mullen's ball is close to so far at just five inches. Mike Mullen, oh, just left out. What an effort by Mike Mullen. Wow. Steve Side has the line on this one. He sinks it. Moving from left to right. Steve Side, it's in the cup. Steve Side. <laughs> but Bill Penny matches it. Moving from left to right. Bill Penny got a chance. Bill Penny. Penny sinks it and takes the round in a playoff. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor celebrating 16 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. On the tee today, I would like to discuss the often misunderstood concept of staying still over the ball when putting. Staying still does not mean feeling rigid or stiff or full attention. In fact, if you're tense, especially in the arm and, and your grip, that can cause the often quick or jabbing putting stroke, and that's the last thing we want. So what does staying still mean to me? Well, I certainly keep my head still and my lower body still, but my goal is to keep my arms and my grip very relaxed, tension free. I know to produce a good consistent putting stroke, especially under pressure, I have to be tension free. So here's my simple routine. I get over the golf ball and get my line, set my putter, make sure my lower body's solid and my head is still. Then right before I take my putter back, I like to move my fingers or shake my arms a little bit just to get rid of the tension. And now I'm ready to go. Nice, smooth, easy putting stroke back and through. Now that's the tension free stroke. I'm looking for. I'll see you next week on the tee. 
The top two players in our winning golf skills challenge survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. This week our players are tested with a 30 yard pitch over the bunker out of the heavy rough. Bill Dalton starting things off well. Trey going right at it, Bill Dalton, oh, right past the pin. Todd Cottingham continuing his fine play. Looks like a nice touch. Well done. Bill Penny sets the mark to beat at nine and a half feet. And that is winning golf by Bill Penny. Well done, all good strokes. Two players met the challenge. Joe Mullen. Look at this touch by Joe. That is right behind the hole, well done. And Matt Wiest. Matt Wiest with a beautiful setup. You should hit the green and move from right to left. And look at this touch by Matt. Well done, Matt Wiest, well done. Wiest takes the round. So it'll be Wiest versus Mullen in our Belfour Up and In playoff. Find out who'll be this week's champion when Winning Golf returns. There's only one most trusted. There's only one most consistent. There's only one most advanced. There's only one number one ball in golf. Look at this shoe that doesn't look like a golf shoe that performs exactly like a golf shoe. This thing is tuned for the game. Who would have thought wrapping your foot in comfort could also mean you'd have powerful support? And who would have thought that with every move you make, it would move with you? Okay, well, if you're already thinking that, then who would have thought a golf shoe that can do all this would look like that? Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Bushnell. Unleash your inner DJ with the new Bushnell Wingman. Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Scotty Cameron putters. Scotty Cameron, the choice of champions. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the 17th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Now the rules for the Belfort up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfort up and in playoff will be a 22 yard downhill side hill pitch from the rough. Joe Mullen will have the honors. Joe carries a 13 handicap and plays most of his golf right here at Woodford Country Club. Well, Joe peaked a little bit and left it on the fringe, but he's still in the contest. Let's see what Matt can do. Matt's a five handicap, also a member at Woodford. He's using a 54 degree wedge. And here it comes. This looks really good. Moving from left to right and look at this touch by Matt. Now again, we have to putt out to see who our champion is. Well, Joe Mullen has a very challenging putt. He's about 35 feet away. He's above the hole. This is gonna move hard from his left to right. And here it comes. It's very fast. It's got a chance we'll hit the pin. Oh, it's going past and look at this thing roll. These greens are in amazing condition here at Whitford. Well, Joe Mullen has about 20 feet back up the hill. This is gonna move from his right to left. Let's see if he can roll it in for a three. Got a good setup, good stroke. Moving from right to left. Oh, just below the cup. Joe will tap that in. And Joe has a four. Well done, Joe. Well, Matt Wiest is in the driver's seat here. He's about 12 feet away. Lion one. Good setup, good stroke. It's got a chance. Matt Wiest. Oh, just over the edge. Matt will tap this in to become the winning golf champion here at Whitford Country Club. Well, Matt Weiss, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion here at the beautiful Whitford Country Club. And boy, Matt, you had your A-plus short game working all day. 
and you hit the pressure shots when it counted, that's what great champions do. Matt, I hope you had a wonderful experience with winning golf. It was a, a spectacular day. You're a great host. Winning golf is awesome. Um, I had a, a, a real good time with everybody here, the camaraderie. Um, everybody was cheering for everybody and everybody did a great job. Well, thank you for your kind words, Matt. Now, your wonderful experience is not quite over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm gonna give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. How's that sound to you? That sounds awesome. That's a great car. Well, thank you, my friend. Well, I've got a great feeling about this next putt, so whatever you do, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back for more Winning Golf. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. Okay, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision. An SUV built around you. All of you. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the Buick Envision at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Envision. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We're on the Beautiful putting green here at Whitford Country Club. Today's winning golf champion, Matt Wiest, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If you can roll it in, Matt will win the keys and a two-year lease to a spectacular Buick Envision. And here it comes from 60 feet. The line looks good. The speed looks good. This should break in towards the hole. And here it comes. That's right on line. And how about that effort from our champion, Matt Wiest? Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the gorgeous Whitford Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Whitford staff and membership for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. Also, a very special thanks to my host, Daryl Tuno, and his Belfour Property Restoration team for providing us with a day filled with fun, excitement, great camaraderie, and plenty of winning golf highlights. And of course, thanks to all of you for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, Everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody wins.